Hi everyone, uh, Miss O'Connor here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a radial design, also kind of known as a mandala. But first we have to kind of depack this. Radial uh, is referring to symmetry, which you can think in terms of balance or having equal parts. Now radial specifically is talking about almost kind of being like a circle. It's going all the way around. So no matter how you fold it or look on a line, it's going to repeat itself. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first and foremost, I might like to start with a circle, but if you don't have a circular tracer, you might just start off with lines. So that's where I'm going to start. But I want you to think in terms of like an orange slice. When you cut open an orange, you'll notice every little segment going all the way around looking very similar. Now with symmetry, it may not be 100% exact in nature, but we're going to try our best to make it look pretty close. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a vertical line. Doesn't really need to be too tall, but definitely don't want it to be too short. And I'm actually going to use my pen here so you can see my lines a little better. But I really encourage you to use pencil instead. And if you mess up a little bit, it's okay if you're using pencil, because then you can erase. Now I'm going to do a horizontal line. It's so about somewhere in the middle. I might want to make a dot to show where that will cross. And I'm going to do the best I can to make a horizontal line. Now you are welcome to use a ruler or a book edge if you want to, to create these lines really nice, crisp, and clean. Or you can try to freehand it. But a ruler definitely helps. Now my next step is to come up with the lines that are going to go in between the ones I just made. So I might start with my diagonal line over here, trying my best to keep it in between these two lines. So I might make a little dot here. And I know it has to end up there, and I'm going to try my best to make it go straight, intersecting at that point. And I can keep on going with my line to the other side. Again, I might want to make a dot to show where I want it to go. I'm bringing my line there. Now it's much easier to do this on a flat surface, so I apologize for my lines being a little wobbly. Now the same thing's going to happen over here. So I make a point in between those two lines. I intersect in the middle. I keep on going down to the other side. Now at this point, you want might want to make a circle connecting these, or you can leave it open. The next step is to start thinking about fractions in your design. So I can think of this in terms of parts. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. Now if I were to do a design in this space here, oops, right up here, <laughs> then I'm going to have to repeat that design over all of these things too, making it exactly the same. If you want to make it easier on yourself or also kind of a challenge, you can combine two of these into one design. I'm going to show you what that looks like, but by doing that, that divides your mandala or your design into one, two, three, and four parts instead. So one fourth of your design is what you're about to complete. Now for your specific design that you're going to repeat, you can make it out of lines, shapes, objects, uh, pretty much anything you want, really. But I'm going to start working on the inside going outwards. And I think I might start doing a curve. Maybe I'll make it look like a sun. Now my line's really helping me divide that space right there. really dig that. I think I might add a curve here. And a curve here. And let's add maybe a heart shape. So again, it's okay if it's not perfect, but since you're using pencil, you can erase if you want to. Now let's see what else I can add. Maybe I can add another heart on the inside. And then I can do a horizontal line upwards like this. Now I can totally add more. But right now, I kind of like how simple this is. So I can go over to the next quadrant and do exactly the same thing. 
so I can continue my line over. Really trying to replicate exactly what I just did. So I really have to look back at this one to make sure I'm eating the right things. A little bit more above. I have my leaf shapes. And then I have my heart. The heart inside of that. And my diagonal lines. Notice, I actually made a mistake. Whoops. But it's okay. I tried. We all make mistakes. Now I have the option of color. So I can use my pencils, I can use crayons, I can even watercolor if I use thick paper but or you can just leave it like this and go back and add in even more details so I can add in extra things inside but I have to make sure I do it for everyone but now I have made kind of what looks like a mandala but definitely some radial symmetry happening meaning that if I were to fold it on this line you know flip over it'd be a copy of itself flip it on this line any line that we drew if I were to fold it and flip it over it would pretty much be a copy have fun.